what is the true essence of black girl magic? Each week, I sit down for a deep and meaningful conversation with some of Africa's most inspiring women and hear their stories of love, loss, and second chances. My name is Dawn Faith. Join me on this journey of discovery. The name Brenda means a very nice person with a beautiful face and a special heart. And this, dear friends, couldn't be more true for the woman who holds a special place in my heart. Brenda Mdambo comes from a challenging background. She was shifted from place to place until her grandmother brought her to live in her home in the township of Umlazi, south of Durban. But with a voice and determination like Brenda's, she was never going to let humble beginnings define her future path. She got her first break as a singer in the now famous gospel ensemble, Joyous Celebration. Brenna went on to be a backing vocalist for just about every top South African artist, including Hugh Masigela, Sibongile Kumalo, Judith Sapuma, Lira, Tandiswa Mazwai, and Jonas Gwangwa. Having now gone solo, her star is rising and she's collecting award nominations for her album, So Much More. And she's just getting started. Miss Mdambo is a strong, faith-filled woman. She's also a mother, wife, and a good friend of mine. We sat down over a cup of coffee to reflect on her upbringing, raising her little boy Zion, her ongoing struggles with trust, and her deep relationship with God. This is my deep and meaningful conversation with Brenda Ndambo. Have you realized that you are now what's considered a woman? Someone looks at you I and says, reached that now yet. Who aren't you? I haven't reached uh, 35 yet. Yes. So I'm only 33. Yeah. I'm going to be turning 34 this year. Yeah. But I would consider myself a woman. Yeah. Maybe because not only of everything that I may have been through, but for the mere fact of now understanding myself better. Okay. I've accepted like everything that consists of myself. Okay. Of being um, content as well yeah. with myself, wow. with just being me, wow. you know, with all my flaws, with all my mistakes, with yeah. everything that wow. I consider Brenda. Yeah. You know, I think I've, 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 I've come to a point where I've accepted everything. Yeah. I'm in a point where, even my mistakes, you know, the embarrassing things, everything. Yeah. So those things for me have made me a woman. Okay. They've made me uh, more mature, okay. but mostly more acceptance man, of, 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 of who I am, of just accepting myself the way that I am. Yeah. And, and, and hopefully I don't um, take whatever that I've been through, through uh, to my child. That's why I'm learning to accept those okay, things I feel and you. own them I feel so you. that I don't become that parent mm. that is beat up because of everything now. Yeah. You see? Mm. So I think I've, I've, I've become that woman. Okay. Yeah. It's, has it been like a, is it, has it been a process or do you think you woke up one day, like for me, like what I was saying, like mm. for me, literally, it mm. was a, I woke up one day and I was like, ah, I've yeah. entered into womanhood. Yeah. It wasn't like, okay, I'm slowly becoming. And I think for me, I now know that I am a woman because mm. I'm independent. Yeah. My life, I, I recognize finally that it's all up to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, and God, with the partnership of God, mm. but ideally, like, it's all here. Mm. Um, I finally, similar to what you're saying, understanding who I am, accepting who I am, mm. believing in myself despite all the things that others said about me. Yeah. And in fact, some of the things that I said about, about myself, too. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, but I feel for me, it wasn't a process. Like, yeah. I just... Yeah, I literally, For on you, my birthday, it was an I was like, moment. yes, like For this me, is what it is, yeah. It was a process. Okay. It took me a while. I had to constantly remind myself that yeah. I'm beautiful. Wow. Constantly remind myself that I'm worthy. Wow. Constantly remind myself that I deserve better. You know, all those things. Wow. Uh, and al also with my success and my, m my career, everything, I had to convince my mind, because the problem is mostly That's here. Right. Yep. I've yep. always known about the talent and whatever, all those things, but mm. I didn't believe it. Okay. So everything from became a process. Even though it's so good, but it's yes, still to it's you. It's a process. I had to constantly remind myself, look at myself and say, you're beautiful. you're beautiful. You are talented. You are gifted. You are this, you are that. 
So for me, it became a process because wow. maybe of the depth of the damage. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 I think it differs with it, with each and every person. Yeah, we yeah. all go through different things. Yeah. Now speaking about your beautiful, what is it that you like most about yourself? I love my skin. Wow. I really think I've got a beautiful skin. So I love myself without makeup. I love myself with makeup. I love my skin. I love I look my body. I love my skin. Nice. I love I love this chocolate. Nice. I really really do. Have you always loved it? Yes. I think I've always been maybe because I've always been complimented okay. mostly yep. about it. Yeah. That you've got beautiful skin. By the way, you've got beautiful skin. So I've always noticed that okay, I've got beautiful skin. I've always had that and I love it about myself. Well yeah. I like I like that I like hearing that because I know like for me when I was growing up, being light skinned do you know what I mean? Mm. Was was then nat was naturally, or rather, I should say, automatically taken as a beautiful. wow, you're beautiful just because you like skin. I remember mm. when we were younger. I won't mention the brand, but there mm. was this brand that people would wear to not necessarily lighten the skin because I wasn't aware that that the brand itself was not causing the skin to be lightened. Mm. But you know, you had this um, matte, matte finish. <laughs> <laughs> you I know. You know. I what know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we hustled yeah. to be able to save money Man, or, you or still sort of from thing. the auntie yes. so that we have this matte finish yes. look. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Because then that was like considered. considered. Yeah. And I think for me, like beauty for me has been a massive struggle. Do you know that I believed I was ugly and actually was told yeah. that I was ugly. I only believe that I'm beautiful and it's just such a shame mm. since I met my husband. Be because he actually, like he told me I was beautiful and mm. I believed yes. I was beautiful. And that's yeah. a different thing. So I know, I know when I talk about my physical appearance I talk a lot about I I'm like a good bottle of wine I've matured, yes, 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 I've yes, matured yes, yes. with age, with you know age. What I mean? yeah, yeah, and yeah. shame like some of my photos now you're like hey, <laughs> if I were a boy <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 the Lord has brought us far yeah, yeah. so yes yeah, so I think for me um, I think when it comes to physical appearance it's a constant mm. um, evolution mm. but but also for me, I don't put much effort to tell you the truth about the physical appearance. Okay. I feel like when you are beautiful, you have to be beautiful from the inside. I feel like I'm that. I have that beauty, that I lighten like up the room. Like the thing is, when I've worked on myself so much that it doesn't matter how I look like. Okay. E eventually, once you get once to you meet you and once know you meet you. me, you love the beauty In that you. the person and has that surpasses in everything in else. Everything. And that has made me really beautiful. Wow. Really, really beautiful. I envy that. That's actually still my current weaknesses mm -hmm. at the moment is mm -hmm. that I'm still learning and not necessarily convincing myself, but believing that I deserve to be in the space. Like even with the show. Mm. I'm like, okay, I have this vision, I know exactly what I'm looking for, and outwardly, you know, it appears like it's on point, but when I'm mm. on my own, it's a lot about, yeah. what are you doing? Mm. Like, who are you to be, do you know, mm. like, there's a there's I, protocol, there's a process, now you don't just come from nowhere. You know, I believe, though, with everything, you have to prepare yourself for. Mm. You, for me, I prepare every time. Mm. When I... I, everything that I do, an interview, a performance, a meeting, I mm. prepare myself mm. all the time. You know why? Because mm. I have to be at my best. I have to be, you know, not necessarily at my best per se, mm. but I need to be comfortable. Okay. I have to be comfortable and be me. And I know I shine when I'm me. When okay. I'm me, I, 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 man, I shine when I'm myself. Mm. So I, I, I don't put anything, you mm. know, I just prepare, okay, Lord, I met this woman, I don't, I don't want to say her name, I was very scared to meet her. Mm. She's very powerful. Yeah. And I was like, but I'm powerful too. Yeah. I said, look at you, you're yeah. powerful. Yeah. You are a strong woman. Yeah. You, I had to remind myself of yeah, that. that so when I appeared there, it, it just, I, man, it, it was magical. Yeah, because it was equal. Yes, I was not pretending because nice. I'm, I'm in front of her. Nice. I was just being myself. And nice. I felt like I left her with the, a little bit of myself. That's, oh, I love that. I love that. Let's I, stop for a second and get <laughs> something to drink. Yeah. Thank you so much, Peace. That's hey. lovely. Thanks, bra. Thank what are the things that were spoken over your life that, that you've had to work 
through getting rid of them. I'll give you an example. When I grew up, we are papa, lo. We are cool, you know what I mean? Happy. Never mm. knowing that's actually the gift that God has given me, mm -hmm. and then feeling like lo papa mm. needs to be suppressed. This this person that I am wasn't good enough, and I mm. think only again now mm. am I in the space where I'm starting um, to go. No, actually, the very things that people try to kill in me when well, I was younger things, yeah. are part of my vision and my purpose and why I actually exist True. and I'm here. Yeah, so yeah. I wanted to find out, have you had similar experiences or anything yeah. in you? I've had quite a lot of, the, of those. I grew up in a, in a house where I grew up with my grandma and then there were uncles at home and my uncles didn't really like me. I think because my mom left me with grandma so they felt like this child doesn't belong here yeah that was the first thing that this is not your home you don't belong here well you know yeah. you must go look for your father whatever all those things yeah that was the first thing the other thing was that the same people then would say we slim and i don't know how to interpret that mm. you won't be you won't amount, you won't amount to, anything, to anything you know and those things will come because my my, my uncles were where they used to drink a lot, mm -hmm. you know, so they had their own things going on. So I grew up with that thing of saying, you're not going to be anything. Mm -hmm. And m my whole life I had to fight that. That's wow. why I worked so hard wow. to become something of yeah. myself. And I'm proud of what, what I've you've become. accomplished. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think that uh, painful experience then propelled me to become the person that I am to say, I'm not going to fail. Wow. I'm not failing. If I'm yeah. failing, you're winning. Yeah. If yeah. I fail, you win. So yeah. I'm not going to let you win. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're not even here to see that to see. I, did, I became yeah. the thing that they said. Like, hey, <laughs> now. <it> to me. <laughs> Coming up. And the thing with black men, most black men, I wouldn't say all of all them. All of them. Mm. They are never taught how to love. They are yeah. always taught how to be strong. And how to they provide. Are always, yeah, mm. you provide. A, they are never taught how to love. And I figure that if you love, you, are a good, you become a good Naturally. provider. Mm. You know, if you love, you become a good father. If Naturally. you love, you become a good husband. Yeah. I will teach my son to love. And then later. Music um, has been my escape. You know, when, when everything is going hoo-ha, uh, music is only that place where I get peace and, and, and just tranquility. Zion, what have you learned, if anything, from your mom in how you parent him? Or if there isn't anything much, what do you wish you would have learned mm -hmm. from her that would have been enabled you um, to have a, a smooth entry into motherhood. You know what I, I said, my friend? I said to myself, I don't want to take my experience that I've had with my mom and in a way r try to raise my son based on that. But I did want you to... Did you consciously, consciously think about that? I know. I thought about it. Okay. Because of how m my mom brought me up. My mom was never there. Mm. So I've told myself that, okay, I want to be there, but I don't, I don't want to be there because, because my mom your mom was wasn't not there. there. Yeah. I want to be there because her. you want I wanna to be there. there. Yes, I want to yeah. be present to my I son. I want you. him to feel me, not for me to be here because I'm here. Okay. And then I'm paying the for the effect. motivation behind yes. why you're here. Yes. yes. You know, but I... I'll then say I learned a lot from how my mom did things with me, yeah. but I'm not doing things because she did that to me. Yeah. Because I've forgiven my mom, okay. so I've moved on. Okay. But I want to become a better mom. Okay. Like for instance, I'll never take my child and leave my child with Somewhere someone else. and yeah. say raise this child. Yeah. I'll I never know do exactly that. Exactly what you mean. Never I do had that. The same experience. Yeah. Never do that. Yeah. That thing really, really, really broke me. Hey. Yeah. So I'll never do something like that to what, my son. What did, what did it make you like? How did I was it break always you? everywhere with everybody. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I was never in one place where I'm, I'm groomed. This is home. Yeah. Yes. I never knew home because everybody would just take me. Everybody would just take me there. Oh, this poor child. Let me let me take this child. You know. Yeah. But I'm grateful for my grandmother who did a fantastic job with yeah. what she had. Yeah. You know, and also. It, it, it angered me. I was very angry as a child. Yeah. Angry, angry. I was an angry child. Naturally. I, 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 there was a time when I kicked her like a so hard. She went to hospital. Oh, lovely. And I was in that six. Eh? Yo, I don't know what's great is that. Yeah. 
Because I was so angry, my friend. I was wow. so angry inside that whatever that you say to me would trigger that anger yeah. instantly. Wow. So I, you know, I don't, I don't wanna carry that baggage again. You, you don't know, want him to, yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Are you enjoying motherhood? I am. Yeah. It's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Seriously. I think motherhood for me has strengthened me. Yeah. Okay. How you so? Know, me, I'm a crier. Like I was, I, I think I was just a little baby. Yeah. You know, cry. I'm yeah. a cry. Everybody knew yeah. me as a like cry. Like I was a cry. Like this one, but I don't know. But being a mom, it doesn't say I don't feel yeah. anything. I do feel, but I'm more stronger. Nice. I'm more stronger. It has made me more kinder. Nice. As well. Nice. Because not that I was mean. I was not mean. Yeah. You know, but I think now I'm kinder. Okay. I'm more patient. Yeah. You know, yeah. it just taught me patience. So I'm more patient now. Sometimes I, I'm like, you know, this kid, sometimes yeah. like, hey, yeah. you know, but I'm more patient yeah. with him. So I, I, it has taught me so much. Yeah. Also to work harder, you know, because now it's not only it's about, not about myself, you. it's mm. about him giving him the best life, yeah. you know, yeah. that maybe I didn't have, but also that he deserves. Yeah. 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 What would you want him, you know, this is a terrible question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Mm. If you were to pass today as you are raising a black man, what's the one thing you would want your boy to know? Uh, you know, I'm trying to teach my son to love. Love just covers everything. Mm. And, and the thing with black men, most black men, I wouldn't say all of all them, all of them mm. they are never taught how to love. They are yeah. always taught how to be strong. And how to they provide. Are always, yeah, mm. you provider. They are never taught how to love. And I figure that if you love, you, are a good prov you become a good Naturally. provider. Mm. You know, if you love, you become a good father. If Naturally. you love, you become a good husband. Yeah. I will teach my son to love. I, wow. I would want him to be a, a lover, to, to a bit just love. Yes, yeah. and also the love of God. Nice. Because that love of God then just covers, covers everything. everything. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. I like that. All right. Speaking about faith, where mm. does your sense of self, do you think, where does your sense of self come from? A self uh, in terms of just me as Brenda. Just you as Brenda. Where does, where does this It comes from come God. From? For me okay it's come from knowing god let me not even say god it's come from knowing god the relationship that i've had with god i think that has brought up this this person mm. you know for so long i didn't i didn't believe in many things that i've become to tell you the truth when i was growing up mm. but knowing god then has it, it made me realize i deserve more it made me realize all yes. the things that i've just told yeah. you it made me realize that actually i'm we are very smart Great. i never thought i was smart eh? yeah I Honestly, I never thought I was, I was smart. Intelligent, I, I, you mean? I had many things, yeah. yeah. I had many things in me that were saying, no, 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 no. I had a stuttering problem. Yeah. Let me tell you, friend, when I met God, because I became comfortable with who I am and I dealt with many things and I could cry to Him, mm -hmm. I'm able to have a conversation now and you, you can hear that I stutter, but you can't actually It's tell. not in the forefront, yeah. 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 Wow. What, so what is that relationship like for you? Like for you, mm. people have a lot of understanding and experiences with God, and that's what I love most mm. about him, is that mm. he's not a one shoe fits all. all. So mm. who is he to you? To me. And, and what, what's that, like, what's the, what's the reality of that relationship post-Sunday service, mm. the, the realness of that relationship? It's a father-daughter relationship for nice. me. Yes. The father-daughter. I refer to God as a father mm. to me. He became a father because maybe I didn't have a father. Mm. So him became that, you know, that father. Yeah. That when I pray, for instance, sometimes I will feel weird with other people who are praying because yeah. I don't pray. The same way they the do. The same way they do. Exactly. I, know I what talk you mean. to God like I talk He's here. Dad. Mm. This is Hello. This. <laughs> I've got a problem. Yeah. Today I want this day to be beautiful. Yeah. So it is beautiful. From now on this yeah, day is it beautiful. Is. Yep. Just like Zion will speak to his dad. Exactly. Say, you know? Exactly. I do that. Exactly. With God. I, I, I have a very personal relationship with God. I feel you. Very personal. I feel like you it's both. a personal one. Like it's that I don't I, I don't know how mm. to explain no, no, it. I Actually you. I'm feeling good. Like, yeah, I yeah, feel you. It's that relationship that yeah. Lord this year. Yeah. I need this, like you're my father. You need to you know, give me you know this. You know yeah. that I yeah. need this. Yeah. Like yeah. I need, Please you know, go ahead and it, get it done. I have that kind of yeah. relationship with no, God. No, completely the same because, mm. I, again, for me, it stems from that. So I always say, 
I, I obviously miss that I didn't have a dad at mm. home. Mm. I miss, you know, I missed, like, you know, they used to do a father-daughter dance in my school. Mm. It used to be the worst time mm. for me. Yeah, I can imagine. Because it's like, okay, shout out to yeah, but let's just make it obvious. Do mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Also, now that I'm a parent, I get that it's actually the responsibility of the parent to initiate a so relationship. Worse off, if gay, as a child, you've gone to initiate the relationship mm. and there isn't yeah. any reciprocation of, of you know? And Same so for me, me. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And so for me, I only now that I'm older, I am grateful. It's a hard word to choose, but I'm so grateful mm. for the absent father because it made the presence of the father that I actually needed. And for me, God is dad. Like yes. he's just I like I don't know whether it's real or not, but i he's like the coolest dad Ever. in heaven <laughs> and on earth. And we yeah. have jokes together. You know, mm. and I and I understand the thing of if you're in a room with other people and they're like, Oh Lord God Jesus mm. and I'm like, Yo, who are you mm. talking? <laughs> it just comes that's how they relate. You know, and they and I'm like, like okay, that, no, that's like, good okay. for you. But for me, mm. this notion of a big God who's out there and he's mm. scary and we have to tremble before him, I'm like, nah, mm. I, that's the kind of dad mm. physically that mm. I had. And that relationship didn't go so, so well. well. Do you know so, what I mean? I mm. Mm. so that's not for me. That's not what I want. Yeah. I, mean, I want a dad that I can crawl on his lap yeah. and go, oh, daddy. You I should have seen yes. the day. Oh, you know, and especially when I lost my kid. Mm. I didn't mm. want God. Mm. I wanted a dad. I wanted a dad who can hold me. Hug, yeah. Yeah. Someone to hold you. Yeah. Say, oh, baby, so sorry, my love. Mm. Oh, mm. Do you mm. know what I mean? And mm. cuddle me in. And so yeah. I, I find that really, really awesome. And it's just a weird thing to um, be grateful for. So we're going to go a little bit deep as if we haven't been deep already. But <laughs> what keeps you up at night? Hmm. That's and, a, and, you, and you're still working through it, like, you know? Because, like, we, like we okay. don't have it all together. There okay. are some yeah, things yeah, that, yeah. that are still going through. Yeah. What, what keeps you up at night, and why does it keep you up? I think I'm a person, and I'm, I'm going to involve my marriage into this because I mm. think it involves it. I'm a person who doesn't trust easily. Mm. So, so, for me, that is the... Thing that I know, like I've, I've, I've been praying about it, that I've got a serious issue with trust. Mm. You know, I don't trust. Mm -hmm. So the thing, yeah, would keep me up at night. Mm -hmm. I would think about a lot of things such that sometimes I even feel like I'm hallucinating, like things are just... You're making them up in your head. In my head. Mm. They come up in my head. Sometimes when I wake up, I feel like they were real. Wow. That I start to act based on if. what I was... I feel thinking. You. I feel and you. And then it, it destroys everything, but it, it's just my reality. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm currently working praying through. and working and working on. on and what does working on it look like? It's still a work in progress. Uh, um, work in progress for me. Yeah. You know, um, I have to. I mean, like, what are the what are the strategies or the tools you put in place to so like yeah to work on it? Counseling is one of them. Yeah. Um, and also prayer. You know, I, I believe in prayer. Prayer yeah. about it, but also to practice trust. Yeah. To yeah. practice. I'm that kind of person. You need to, you know, okay, do it. Yeah, let's do I it and see. Practice yeah. trust. I have to trust and allow people to come into my space and That's allow awesome. them that they're not here to hurt and me. And open up. Yes, and yeah. open up. And it, it That's hard, isn't it? Very hard. Very, very, very hard. You know, and it, that is the main thing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And how, how does Manda, how's his response to that? Is it... Is it is At he first, it caused problems because um, I, I didn't accept it. Mm. I didn't... Uh, you know, I would always clear something and make it um, a, a reality, you, yeah. know, or you, you know, because maybe I'm not trusting or whatever, all those things. Yeah. And then he tried to, he's been helping me, Shem, right. with that. He's been that's helping awesome. me with it. So he always tells me, he always tells me. When, no, that's, when not, that. that's yeah. not quite it. Yeah. That's awesome. Still to come. That thing just changed everything in my life. Yeah. Just to know why I'm here. Yeah. Why I'm here. Yeah. I believe I'm, I'm, I'm here to change lives. Nice. But through music. Yeah. Like, through music is a vehicle. It's a vehicle for me to change lives. And mm. I feel. I feel like I've been doing that through music. And then later, you know, when when everything is going hoo ha, uh, music is always that place where I get peace and 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 just tranquility. Like I find myself more in music. You know, I'm able to express myself better in a song than maybe sometimes talking about certain things. Oh. 
I truly believe that Brenda Mtambo is one of Africa's best hidden gems. Seeing Brenda perform live is like nothing you've experienced before. From the moment she walks onto stage, Brenda and the music become one. She embodies every note, every phrase, every run. She literally bears her heart and soul and so creates a direct connection with the heart and soul of everyone in the audience. Her voice is like the best friend you need to hear from at the most significant moment in your life, consoling you in your suffering, convicting you in your fight, celebrating in your victory. This is made possible by the grace of God and the work she has done in her own life to move from rejection to acceptance. has been my saving grace. Music saved my life. Music um, has been my escape. You know, when, when everything is going hoo-ha, uh, music is always that place where I get peace and, and, and just tranquility. Like I find myself more in music, you know, I'm able to express myself better in a song than maybe sometimes talking about certain things. So I knew that if I wasn't going to be a musician, then I wouldn't be a happy, a happy person. I wouldn't then fulfill my purpose in life. You know, uh, this is just me fulfilling my purpose in life that I feel like I'm more of a healer, but I'm a healer, I heal through music because it heals me as well. So because of what it has done for me, I feel like what then I, what I, I represent and what I give is what music has been to me. My journey into music started way back home um, because I come from a very musical family. So I've always been singing, been a singer, being around singers and musicians. You know, my grandfather was playing guitar and stuff. So from there at school, in high school, I had a group. Um, so we formed a group, uh, and then we performed. We used to, you know, perform in, in, in weddings, all kind of events. So that's where my journey started at, actually. And then I came to Joburg uh, when I, I became part of Jazz Celebration, which was fantastic. And then afterwards, I then became a begging singer for quite a lot of other artists. Uh, that led me to this point where I am right now. My best memories, I think, because I love to travel a lot, I used to. I still do, but it's been traveling. It's, it, it, it's been getting to see, you know, countries, experience their cultures. Um, uh, the one that I will never forget is my, my Fiji Island experience. I went to Fiji Island, which was really amazing. I think that was my best trip so far. Um, I enjoyed my time there. I enjoyed the people. I just enjoyed the whole vibe and, and how they they are so into music and how they embraced us as South African artists, which is uh, which is really 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 great. I think what I represent, if you haven't watched or 
maybe yeah, see what I do. I think it's more of emotions, like it's more of, um, it's more heartfelt. You know, it's, it's, it's something that touches your soul. It's something that vibes your soul, you know. Also, it excites, you know, my, my, my shows are very, dynamic you know you know the, the, they differ because I, I carry so much emotion in each and everything that I write about so I feel like sometimes that is translated into music and into my performances when I perform um, but also you know I'm, I'm a person who doesn't like to sh talk a lot about what I do you know I'd rather you experience it and then and then after you have and then you take whatever you know feeds your soul because I always say with me music is the representation of my heart so what I hope it does for you is that it fills your heart in spaces where it's supposed to my greatest you know Thing that I want to leave or to for anyone who hears me or sees me is is that you need to live with hope you know I want to ignite fire within your, yourself to know that you can achieve just about anything in life that you want but not only about achieving but about also becoming because my journey in in my life and also in my music is, is in, in a way one thing so I was able to recreate my life and recreate myself in a way I feel like that's what I transfer from my heart to yours so I hope when you hear my music you get the vibe you get you know you, you get the sense of self that is confident that is proud that is to say I am the way that I am and I'm proud and and I, I just wanna yeah do that you know I think in each and every a circumstance whether you want to be a musician you want to be a lawyer whatever that you want to be the most important thing in life is preparation it's very important you need to prepare yourself for the thing that you want to see in your life that's what I always say like preparation goes a long way you need to prepare yourself you need um, the waiting period is, is the fundamental period in each, in each and every person's life you know while you wait what do you do when you wait if you want to be a singer are you rehearsing you know, are you checking music? You know, are you working on yourself? You know, are you, you need to work on yourself. If you want to be a lawyer, you need to find ways to go to school. If you want to do this and that, everything boils back to preparation. I believe. Isn't it just beautiful to know what you're supposed to be doing? Because so many people spend so much time just going, why oh am man. I here? To then be in a position the where purpose. you know yeah. what's my purpose for me, on earth. That thing just changed everything in my life. Yeah. Just to know why I'm here. Yeah. Why I'm here. Yeah. I believe I'm, I'm, I'm here to change lives. Nice. But through music. Yeah. Like through music is a vehicle. It's a vehicle for me to change lives. And mm. I, f I feel like I've been doing that through music. Lovely. It's been happening through music. Lovely. You know, when people write to me and say, your song did that. Yeah. Your, your music does this to me. You wow. know, I'm like, done. That's it. Yeah. Do you think you'll be doing it forever? Or do you think it's music is the vehicle now, but at a different point it will be something else? I would like to evolve in terms of business, in terms of other things that I want to do, but I think I'll always be doing music. Nice. I'll always be in involved in music. Everything mm. that I'll be will be in music. That's fantastic. I, I always, I, I, I believe so. Look at you, you guys. <laughs> As you say, you get your I believe, so. I believe so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah, because Jim is hard, man. Let's be real. Listen. Yo. Listen. Ask me about Jim. Virgin Active is Jim rich. Is nice. right now no, with my mind. About being healthy, but imagine if I've had life and then I go to him. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs>we are going to finish just in a short while, but yeah. I think, I'm trying to think if I should ask or how I should actually ask this question. Um, if you had a daughter, because mm -hmm. I asked you about what's your gift to your son, um, if you had a daughter, you know, I'm, I'm, I've never really been like sisterhood, sister girl kind of thing, mm. but I think as I've grown into this space, one mm. of the challenges for me is the conversations that um, are not had with girls when they are younger, mm. the affirmation um, of who they are, yeah. and then as they grow into the next phase, almost like there isn't this circle that's mm. constantly um, building girls into women, mm. uh, rather girls into teenagers, and then teenagers yeah, into, into women, until women, yeah, you eventually... Yeah. Um, 
um, what's the thing, you, the metamorphosis from where you are to becoming a butterfly. Mm. So if you had your, your daughter, what are the things you think that are critical that girls transitioning all the way up um, that we should be giving back? I think most girls, okay, I think Mina, I would have that thing of being honest with my girl. Wow. Honesty, because mo I know this because of how I grew up. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I didn't tell anyone that I was starting my period up until I don't know. Wow. And that affected my health. Wow. Because I thought it was wrong, there was something wrong. Wow. That, uh, maybe something I, you did, uh, something, did, so you should be ashamed of it. Because nobody have ever said anything to me about anything. So I think I'll just be very honest. Wow. Bring that friendship, I mean, have that friendship with my wow. daughter. You know, I where like that. she can just talk about anything with me. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool because yeah. I think, I suppose, and as then they get a bit older, they carry that level of honesty with themselves True. and then honesty with others and an expectation yeah. Yeah. that what they bring. Because that's the thing, yeah, like it's always about li living a life where you feel what you give out mm -hmm. will also come back to you, whether mm -hmm. it is positive or it's not. Okay, will you ever have any transformations? Will you ever have Botox, um, <laughs> change your nose? Lift up the chin. Girl, girl, me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm. No, man. Th me, I'm very honest. Like, yeah. I've got to be honest with you. Yeah. There are things that I look at them like, you know, Lord. That's that, nice. That <laughs> me, Lord, can do fine that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just had a baby. With a baby, you yeah. gain so much weight. Oh, I know. You, know, don't, you don't have to tell with me. With this section. I'm oh, like, sweetie. You know, things hey, life that never do me good. Lipo can do me good. Yeah. Lipo. I have no issues Listen, with that. Listen, I have no issues with lipo. For real. I will do lipo at any given day. Yeah, just tuck it in a little bit. Tuck Girl? Do you know why, Ned? Yeah. Because, and, and it's a harder thing. Yeah. Because guys can transform themselves. And most of them, some of them don't do physical transformations. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'll But they'll buy a car in their mid-40s or their mid-50s. Yeah in order to lift themselves up, yeah. you know? So they, yeah. and, and it doesn't mean that your internal are completely screwed up. But every La now Lela. and then, like nice jewelry and nice something, cheers. You know, I wear a hat and it, I don't have a bad hair day. And then people walk around. for me will do me so good. Do you know what I mean? Yes. J I'll, I'll, J -O. You can get into like a nice J uh, and you'll be like, I'll sexy be like, mama. Please, can I have a bikini? <laughs> can you go for the beach now? I like that. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, like, and Gladly. You have, yeah, and, and I wouldn't hide that I did it. Nice. That's the thing about me. Another thing about yeah. me. Me, I'm very, I'm very yeah. open. I'm, nice. I live my life the way. This is yeah. This is who I am. You yes. If if you see me tomorrow and I'm inside, you know she went for life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. Yeah. Oh, she went for life. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Because Jim is hard. Now, let's be real. Listen. Yo. Listen. Ask me about Jim. Virgin active is Jim is nice, right you know, and it's about being healthy. But imagine if I've had life and then I go to Jim. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> no, do it. No, but it's a struggle, ne? It is. It is. Because food is nice. Yo, food and wine is amazing. Man. Listen, I'm not going to stop eating anything. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to minimize maybe the amounts. For real, though. Will you be able to minimize? Yes, food. I'm not a foodie, foodie person. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, I can't do that. I think, and I picked up weight when I got my child, which is how fine. fat did you get? Oh, sorry, it, it, fat is politically no, 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 incorrect. No, no, it's okay. I was how fat. big? <laughs> no, I was fat. You can just say fat. Yeah, you it's got okay. fat. Because everybody was saying I'm fat, but yeah. they didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you got so fat, my was, friend. I got fat because you're skinny. I was. When we were singing together at church, I was very skinny. Yeah, I was a skinny girl. With your nice and condos. Yeah, my condos and condos are sharp, like they were like. Yeah. But now. I've got like your my zitos, my kind, <laughs> your kind. <laughs> Yo, the struggle yeah. is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm pleased. I'm pleased you said that because you know I think for me, I can't say that I will, but I can't say I won't. Please I don't. Feel, I feel like I'm keeping my options open because I'm like you know, at 70 I don't know how low things would be hanging. Mm -hmm. Like I worry about my boobs a lot. <laughs> I feel like I might just go get my girls. Up a oh, bit. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I've, they've done the service. They've yeah. helped my children. Yeah. God bless my husband. They've mm. helped my husband. Mm. I think there'll be a season where they need to help you me. As well. Ne? So like, you look at them. Eh, like uh, you're hot girls. Hey. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I so I, I feel like I it's not out of the question. Mm. But I think for now, because not I'm not in that it. space. Yes. I'm not. But I must confess, when they took my son out, I said to the doctor, ah, why are you there? If there's any extra fat that you feel is not necessary. <laughs> and the doctor was like, awkward. I'm like, no, no, actually, 
I'm genuinely I'm serious. serious. <laughs> I'm genuinely serious. Yeah. Just cut like a bit here and there. Like, and then who just needs that stuff? Yeah. Saka didn't listen to me. He kept, <laughs> he kept it all inside and I had to work on it. All right, darling, this is it. We should have our coffee. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This was beautiful. And I'm so proud of you. Thank I'm you I'm so baby. happy that you did this. I'm so, so, so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. having me. Thank, Thank you. We've so come much. a long way, haven't we? I love you. This has been amazing. <laughs> I love you too, darling. I have such deep admiration for Brenda's strength, courage and determination not to be defined by her circumstances. It can be so easy for us to feel defeated, particularly when we face great adversity at the very beginning of our lives. But Brenda has taken those obstacles and setbacks and turned them to her advantage. She really has seen all things work together for her good. Brenda. I thank God for who you are and for all you are yet to become. Well, that's it folks. Join me again next week when I have yet another deep and meaningful conversation.